the current study that we're reporting here uh, validated this link between obesity, inflammation, and aromatase activation. And we expanded our population size to 101 women. And we looked at the white adipose tissue from their mastectomous samples. And again, we found that uh, breast inflammation correlated with body mass index. And even more interestingly, there were some other findings that came out of this expansion cohort. Uh, the second finding was that breast inflammation of the fatty tissue occurs regardless of tumor phenotype. So it occurs in hormone receptor positive and negative tumors, as well as HER2 positive and negative tumors. And finally, we were able to examine bilateral breast tissue, uh, as well as uh, in a subgroup of women who underwent breast reconstruction, we looked at the white adipose tissue from their abdominal fat pad uh, in order to compare it to the breast white adipose tissue. And we found uh, in the majority of patients who had inflammation in one fat depot, say in the right breast, uh, they also had breast uh, inflammation of the other breast or in the abdominal fat pad. So it seems to be a, a systemic pro uh, process, not only at the circulatory level, but also uh, at the tissue level. And this has important implications for future clinical trials uh, in, in the way that we measure response to treatments. So for example, in the DHA trial, we are doing, uh, we're looking at plasma and serum, and we're also taking breast biopsies. But now that we know that the abdominal fat pad seems to mirror what's happening in the breast fat, uh, we, can, uh, we can assess or examine the abdominal fat, which is much, easily more, much more easily attained, uh, obtained rather, than the breast fat.